Hello everyone. My name is Saleshni Chan and I am currently pursuing B.A. Secondary in English and Geography from Fiji National University. I am enrolled at the Nathambua campus. In this video, I will present a short commentary on the scene where Paikia delivers her speech. I will also include an in-depth analysis of her emotional speech relating it to the themes of survival, hope and determination. I will then proceed to discuss why this scene is important and finally wrap up with my views on the scene and Paikia's speech. To begin with, this scene opens with Paikia's speech which is an expression of her love for her great-grandfather Koro Apirana. In her super-emotional speech, she expresses her gratitude for being born in Wangara. She expresses her desire to serve her tribe and make her beloved Paka proud. Paikia mentions that she hails from a line of chiefs and that she is the most recent descendant. Paikia's grief can be seen when she says that by being born as a girl child, she broke the line to the ancient leader, the line of a patriarchal dominated society. Yet, she mutters up the courage to say that her being born as a girl is nobody's fault as it just happened. She expresses her hope that anyone can become a leader if knowledge is passed on to them. Paikia is hopeful that anyone can become strong and be a leader. She talks of their ancestral leader Paikia and then chants the ancient leader's chant in the Maori language and dedicates it to her great-grandfather. Sadly, throughout her speech, the chair reserved for Koro Apirana remains empty. Paikia's speech is a sheer reflection of survival and determination and hope. She talks of survival when she reflects on her ancestor Paikea, who was lost at sea and couldn't find land. He lost hope and probably wanted to die, but he realized that the gods were upon him, so he called out to them to lift him up and eventually survived. Paikea also talks of utter determination. Though her paka was not in attendance, she was still determined to conclude her speech. She is determined to become strong and acquire the knowledge of her ancestors so that she could lead her tribe one day. She is determined to win her Parker's heart and prove to him that being a girl child would not hinder her from saving her grandfather and her tribe. In her speech, Paikia is hopeful that she can be a leader. She has all the qualities of becoming a leader except that she is a girl. Paikia mournfully says that she shouldn't have been born, yet she is hopeful to lead. This scene is important as it shows that Koro's indifference towards Paikia does not stop her from loving him unconditionally. This scene is full of tension as the viewers experience the same depth of sadness as seen in Paikia's eyes and her expressions during her speech. Yet, one is amazed how bravely Paikia pulls her act together. This is the saddest scene that wrenches the hearts of the viewers. This scene is itself a symbolism of survival, a symbolism of determination, and a symbolism of hope. This scene is also an emotionally power-packed one as we see that Paikea is an emotional turmoil. She yet maintains her ground and accomplishes her speech. Paikea looked so young and vulnerable, yet she concluded her speech in the Maori language. The audience definitely feel her pain and her emotions. My views on this scene is that that this scene ends very tragically for Paikea. Tragic not in a physical way but in an emotional way. I feel that children should not be discriminated upon. Everyone should be given a fair chance to acquire knowledge and a fair chance to lead if they are capable. Thank you.